Hello, I'm Jose Levi Aguirre from Spotfire and in today's quick tip video, we are going to discover how to optimize your Spotfire usage with, li with library favorites. So we are going to be able to easy access frequently used library items, customize the toolbar, pin data functions, pin visualizations, uh, create a personali personalized visualization shortcuts in the toolbar, and learn how administrators can set the default settings and streamline user experiences. But before we continue, I'm going to give you a quick announcement for the upcoming analytics form. The analytics form 2023 is going to be held uh, September 29th to 21st with four general sessions, 20 breakout sessions, more than eight customer speakers and a 24 hour hackathon. The registration is open, link below. The hackathon is or is about mitigate hunger with data. I'm going to put the link below, so, so stay tuned. We're going to start off with this sales and marketing dashboard and you can find this in the samples directory. So in the library sample directory, you have a couple of examples and I usually work with the analyze, uh, analyzing stock performance. I already have Marcus favorite and also the sales and marketing. And if I go to my favorites, I'm going to see those two files among other folders that I have Marcus favorite. So this little number that you see here is the, no, the number of people of unique users that have marked this as favorite. You can also mark not only folders and analysis, but you can also link data functions or data connection. So this way you can easily find your most important or most commonly used items in the library. Administrators can also restrict this from happening if they, for some reason, the company policy doesn't want you to know how many people have a marked this as a favorite or this favorite option, they can disable that. Another cool thing is this toolbar where I have my most common visualization here. I used have a data table, I have a bar chart, text area. So, um, you can pin your most common visualizations and just right click, customize toolbars, and then you can uh, use different visualizations, drag and drop, put them, arrange them. You, you can have also these vertical lines and stuff. So uh, the administrator, administrators can also have this default for the, for the specific role or group by uh, copy this toolbar ID to the, uh, uh, to the clipboard and that will give you like a specific string for the admin to configure in the settings. Now, if a user don't have access to a certain functionality to how the license is configured, then uh, no shortcut will be displayed for that functionality, even if it has added to the default toolbar. And users, of course, can override these settings by modifying the default uh, toolbar settings. So you can also add other, other items, data filtering stacks, custom tools, custom visualizations. These uh, will be more like extensions. But yeah, you can pin everything here. And um, it's worth mentioning that you cannot remove these notifications when editing the toolbar. Now let's talk about the visualizations. Here I have my visualizations and you might not have this visualization because these visualizations are mods. So you can, if you, you, you can unpin it here. Uh, but if you want to pin new visualizations, then you go here and the visualization that you can pin must be in the library. So let's find some visualizations in the library. Immediately, going to search the library for those objects of type mod, and I can pin my visualizations that I commonly use. For example, I can pin the gauge. Just click here, and I already have it pinned because I can unpin it. I already have it pinned. But let's say the donut chart. I can pin it to the, my visualizations, and it should be available here. So the same thing for administrators. They can make these default settings in the administration. So you go to Tools, Administration Manager. Then you select preferences, select the group that you want to modify, go to application mods, and then you select the here when you edit, you are going to paste the visualizations. And you can get that string that goes here by once you have pinned your visualizations, you just click here and copy the info about pinned visualization to the clipboard, and it should look something like this. So for data functions, is, is the same. Data functions are a great way to transform data or to process data in many ways. So I have here some of the common data functions that I have. I can search for more data functions in the library. They have to be in the libraries for me to pin them. It's the same process. And if you want the administrator to have the default data functions in your flyout, you can ask him to do so. The process is the same. You select one of these data functions, you pin it, and then it should be available in your flyout. And then if you want uh, the administrator or you want to just suggest the administration, yeah, then you copy the information, uh, pin in the 
items and that is going to be set for anyone in a specific group. And the location for that is in the data function preferences. Again, I go to my administration manager, preferences, select the group, data functions preferences, and right here, and I just paste the string that I copy on the clipboard. And that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe.